This is Miss Betty for the Griswold Memorial Library. Today, we're gonna make turkeys. What you need is a coffee filter, a clothespin, some paint or markers or crayons. You need some watercolor markers to tie dye your feathers. You'll need some glue and a spray bottle with some water. First, you're going to take your coffee filter. Put some color on it. I use red, orange, and yellow. You can make a pattern or you can just do squiggles all over it. Once you have it all colored, you're going to need a plastic bag on your table to help protect it. Then you're going to take your spray bottle and spray some water all over your coffee filter. That will make the colors run and make it look tie-dyed. And while that's drying, you're going to make your turkey's body. I use some brown acrylic paint. You can paint your clothespin. If you don't have any paint, you could use a brown Sharpie and do your clothespin. Or you can even use crayons. But if you use crayons, it's going to be a lot lighter body. You might have to do it more than one coat over it to make it brown. But you can use crayons. Once you have your body all colored, you're going to want to take some either some fun foam or some colored cardboard, construction paper, or whatever else you might have. You're going to need to make a little red wattle, a little yellow beak, and you'll need some wiggly eyes. You're going to hot glue those on your dried clothespin. Cut out your waddle shape. Cut out your beak and hot glue your eyes and your beak and your waddle all on your clothespin. Then, once your tie-dye is dry, fold your, fold your filter in half. You can take your scissors and cut around the edges if you want to make it roughly like feathers. Or you can leave it just like the the coffee filter is. You're going to take your clothespin and you're going to open its mouth and take your feathers and push them down in just as far as they'll go. And there you have a turkey. It can it can stand on the table, or you could take a piece of magnet and hot glue it on the back and stick it on your refrigerator. And that can be your November decoration. Thanks for watching. Happy November.